Okay. <laughs> I have to face and work on all my videos. I'm sorry that my video has to be like this right now. Um, I told you guys I was going to record everything, but I cannot record anything at Moffat today because... I got the report today of the CT scan and it's not what I was expecting to be. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. <clears throat> Last night I went to sleep around 7 a.m. I was writing. I was writing yesterday for a long time. It was beautiful hotel, beautiful view, beautiful place, beautiful dinner, relaxing. It's, everything was beautiful. But um, the anticipation of, you know, I'm so tired. Sorry, guys. The anticipation of procedure I don't know everything else I guess once again they throw a big bone at us um, I have to stay strong be positive we believe what God tells us let me fix this a little And we're back in the room, not the hotel room, our room, where we stay most of the time. I'm going to pause for a second and take my medicine, I'll be back. So I had to um, <coughs> sit up because there was no way I was able to record this laying down even though my bed wants the bed my head wants the bed excuse me see i got all my things on just to let you know it's crazy i went to the hospital they took the blood out they accessed my port ow oh i gotta take those things out do you see it's here it's cold and um I'm trying to eat stuff my appetite is much better I'm not gonna be nice that yeah. so I went to the hospital instead of them seeing me in the morning They decided to see me at 2 in the afternoon. But when I got there, it was crazy. Give me one second. Sorry about that. I had to get some energy on me. It's been a long day. He even worked for my husband. It's been a long day for him. I have to deal with everything and digest what I'm about to tell you guys. Okay, so I get there, they check me right away. Everything was so quickly. Everything is moving fast. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Normally, uh, everything moves a little slower. I have to sit there and wait for a while and that kind of stuff and this time I didn't have to do that so I wasn't a uh, I wasn't being able to record in inside Monfet not because I couldn't or I want to it's just I 
was so exhausted, you know? And all I wanted to do is go to sleep. My hair is so messy because I've been laying on that side, sleeping on that side. It's hard to sleep in a car when car is moving and stuff. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. So. <laughs> anyway, so. They told me they're not, they're not going to do the procedure. The uh, cancer in the tumor grew more. And they felt that it would be a waste of the time to try to fix that. So they're going to find a different way of fixing it. Uh, the bad news is, which I still stand firm in the belief that God is my healer. I don't accept that. I don't accept uh, those results. Mm -mm. I told my husband I don't accept those results. I'm healed. I am healed. In the name of Jesus, I'm healed. So, wanted to pick the camera up. And let you know. The cancer has spread up. It was hard. I did cry. My husband cried. We prayed together. We called our pastor Carmelo for prayer and they cried together and talked together about it. My pastor is a very caring person. He's 67 years old. With his wife Rosa. Every single time we called them. They're always there for us. Sorry about that light. I'm gonna cover it with my pigtail. What do you think? You still see that shadow. I can still see the end of the tunnel. I can see the shining light in the other side. <laughs> Not the best singer, but that comes to mind when I see that. Shining. See the shining light. There is a God, there is a God in heaven, there is a God, there is a God in his real. I can see him shining through the roots of my hair. <laughs> but anyways, gotta stay positive, gotta smile, tears are tears, Psalm 126 says that he would turn all your tears into joy. So for now, I'm just going to briefly make this video for the journey of today. I apologize, my YouTubers and family, for my messy hair and because I feel so tired. I'm just going to lay down, rest this up with my husband. And I need to rest, rest, rest. Get all the energy back on my system. And go from there. So, for now, everything's canceled. The father do through the doctors. My oncologist. It's called Abidol. What's going to be my next step? My, my pastor said that men speak but God has the last word so this is my journey that I share you with you all family and friends always remembering God is number one and no matter what your will would be that's the will of God for us 
bless you. I love you all in Christ. Take care of yourselves. Love one another and keep smiling. Even though you're going through trials and tribulations, or no matter what situation you're going through, just know you have a friend. And she's right here on YouTube, okay? Remember to either share my videos, make comments, leave a like. Doesn't matter if you put likes or dislike. I still be happy. <laughs> you know why? Life is too short to be bitter. Let's enjoy life in a good, positive way. And there's someone out there that's hurting and going through something, and you can give them a li little advice, encouragement, boost. Do that. Let's help one another. Let's stay together, come together. And one understanding, prayer. Prayer is the key. And Jesus Christ is dying on the cross for us, for our sins. By the stripes, we are here in the name of Jesus. So we continue. More videos to come. I'm going to get some rest. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.